was discussion before this Mass, as was discussion before every other Mass this weekend. Proper liturgical color for today is rose. It is not pink. So, Father Rodney is radiant in rose, not pretty in pink. I just want to make sure everybody, make sure that we're all on the same page. Rose, not pink. I'll show you the rubric. Actually, we wear this shade of color because we're hopeful. The Lord is close at hand. We shift our attention these latter days, these last days of Advent, and we pray ever more fervently, come Lord Jesus. And so, as I was preparing my homily for this weekend, the thought of the coming of the Lord was certainly at right in front of my eyes. It's what I can't stop thinking about. It's all around us, actually. December the 25th, it's just around the corner. That's right, folks, 10 days from now, Christmas, we'll be celebrating it. But tonight, I want to talk to you about Easter eggs. Yep, Easter eggs. <clears throat> you see, every year, my mom hides Easter eggs for my nephew Xavier and for my niece Eliza. They each get 10. Now when his, his Xavier was born, she bought blue eggs, presumably because we associate little boys with blue. When Eliza came along, my mother bought pink eggs, not rose color egg, colored eggs, pink eggs. And so each and every year, my mother hides these eggs for the kids. Some of the eggs have candy, some of the eggs have money. And it's wonderful to go watch the kids as they go on this Easter egg hunt. They go and they try to find them. It's even better because, at least for the last four years, at least one egg is always missing. It's always hard to find. And even my mother can't remember where she's put it. I chuckle. But what's great is the kids are so hyped up. They're excited. They're looking for their Easter eggs because they know when they find the egg, there's a prize. There's something inside the egg that's special for them. We hear in the gospel tonight that Jesus sends his disciples. He says, go out, go ahead, go look. What did you find? Whom did you seek? As we prepare for the celebration of Christmas, which seems to be all around us already, we can easily forget that we are called and challenged to look, to look for the one who has come into the world, the Word made flesh. Yes, the Christ that we celebrate, that child. But we're also looking for something else. And we should be looking for that something else, the coming of Christ at the end of time, with the same sort of excitement that my niece and my nephew embrace and show to us each and every each and every Easter Sunday. But it's so difficult, I think, because there are roadblocks each and everywhere we turn. Commercialism, consumerism, I'm not going to preach against them. A, I guess it's a part of our culture now. We are gift givers and gift receivers, but when we make that our primary focus, we can't see the real reason for this season. We are incapable of seeing the Christ. And so when that happens, we can't see the miracles that take place each and every day. We start to say oh, it's coincidence. We don't give God his due. We need to keep our eyes open so that we can see the blind recover their sight. We need to keep our eyes open so that we can see that those who are in need have their needs met. We can even see the dead be raised. The poor still need the gospel, the message of hope preached to them. And that's where we get involved. God uses us to make this reality known. Have you seen the Christ this Advent season? If you did, great. You're on the right path. 
But if Jesus says to you, why did you go out there and what did you see? And you say, I saw 50% off. Then we're not on the right track. Who are we really seeking as we prepare and pray, come Lord Jesus? Are we preparing simply for a celebration of the Lord's birth, which we celebrate by an exchange of gifts and a reception of gifts? Or are we actually on a spiritual journey preparing us for his return at the end of time? There are only certain people who can answer that. That would be us. And so we pray, come Lord Jesus, open our eyes this Advent season so that we can see you clearly and share your message with those in need.